Hi guys. Hey, hey, hey. come stai? Buongiorno. 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 Benvenuti a Viterbo. Nice to meet you. Buongiorno. Gianluca Di Prospero is a Templar investigator and he's gonna show us a few things around Viterbo today. Rick Lagina and members of the team have traveled some 65 miles northwest of Rome to the city of Viterbo, Italy. Viterbo was an important crossroad and for 24 years Viterbo was the center of the Christianity and the known world. They have arranged to meet with Gianluca Di Prospero an author who has spent more than two decades researching the medieval activities of the Knights Templar in this region. What is the Templar connection with this area? Oh, nella chiesa ci sono numerosi simboli che ora vi volevo far vedere sono riconducibili qua ai cavalieri templari. Actually, he found some uh, interesting symbols in a church that is very close to here. It's called Santa Maria Nuova. There might be some Templar connection. I'd say let's let's take a look. Chiata, sì. Founded in the 8th century, the Terbo became the temporary headquarters for Pope Alexander IV and the Catholic Church during a time of civil unrest in Rome. During that period, the city also served as a stronghold for the Templar Order. Eccoci. Allora, siamo all'interno praticamente della chiesa di Santa Maria Nuova, eh, l'origine della costruzione è intorno al 1080. This is Santa Maria Nuova, a church built in 1080. As you can see, it's full of paintings, carvings and symbolism. It's hard, hard to believe is this, this was built in 1080. Unbelievable. I think there's a lot to learn here. So mm -hmm. let's, let's start an initial investigation and see, see okay. what we come up with. Okay. You see anything at all? Flag everyone else down. Yeah, great okay. idea. Okay, plan it out. The church is an incredible edifice. It's beautiful. Churches were, even though they were public, they held secrets of their own, and we need to learn as much as we can. Hey guys, come take a look at this. What'd you find, Pete? I think something pretty interesting. It's unmistakable. Cross with the four dots, same as the HO stone. Mm-hmm. E non è un caso che questo tipo, diciamo, di croce si trova in posti molto importanti, in luoghi dove poi ho trovato anche della simbologia templare. He says that these four dots crosses are marking special places that Templars used to be in and or around. Mm -hmm. Legato alle uh, illustrazioni di, delle sacri, sacre reliquie. Qui abbiamo per esempio il Santo Graal che è molto rappresentato e qui ritroviamo questa croce che come dire è una sorta di sottolineatura. This is also present in places connected with the Holy Grail or the Holy Shroud. If this four dot cross is only found in Templar associated locations or with Templar associated articles that they may have been safeguarding. I mean, it, it speaks volumes for our HO stone. In the 1920s, a massive boulder featuring a number of enigmatic carvings was discovered by treasure hunters on the northern shore of Oak Island. Suspecting that it marked the location of buried treasure, they destroyed it with dynamite in order to dig beneath it. Nothing was found below the massive boulder. However, is it possible that a fragment known as the HO stone, which featured a cross surrounded by four dots, represented a key clue that sacred Templar treasures are hidden on Oak Island? If so, could that explain the high trace evidence of gold and other metals that have been detected deep in the Money Pit area? Every place we visit, it speaks to me that there's an ongoing story here, an ongoing message. You need to look backwards in time, and that's what we've done today, and mm -hmm. I think we need to continue to do that. Yeah, let's go. We have seen that cross everywhere, from Portugal to the H.O. Stone, and we know for a fact that Templars use that representation, but it certainly is a direct connection to Oak Island. Rick. Hmm. Have you seen curious? Right here. Stay out. Eric. Yeah, right there. Hmm. 
H-I-C. Which in Latin means here. I think there's an A even on the far side there. There's an A here, yeah. È molto simile, se vedete, al, uh, al compasso e alla riga. È una forma abbastanza strana. In his opinion, this refers to a compass. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look closely, there is also a square. So it could be a Masonic uh, symbolism, which is weird in a church like this, so old yeah. and so important here in Viterbo. Mm. A possible Masonic compass carved in the wall of a medieval church with known connections to the Knights Templar. Many believe that the secretive fraternity, known as the Freemasons, evolved from the Templar order after their dissolution by the Catholic Church in the 14th century. Curiously, ever since the money pit was discovered in 1795, Freemasons have been involved in nearly every single organized company of treasure hunters that has tried to solve the mystery. Masonic symbols, such as triangles, crosses, and the letter G, representing the divine creator, have also been found all across the island. Is it possible that Alex Lagina has just found more evidence that these organizations are directly connected? And if so, does that also explain what Freemasons have been trying to find on Oak Island for more than two centuries? I just keep thinking about the HO stone. And let me show you this. So in the church, we saw this. Right? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Here. If you do this. You get the HO stone. Hmm. And this symbol we've learned today means Templar related relic. Mm -hmm. And what have we found that the symbol at the end means? Some have interpreted it to be gold. Yeah. If you put it all together, I mean, there's the possibility that the HO stone represents here Templar gold. We know that in medieval times and middle age times, they really like their ciphers. They really like their hidden meaning. So maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You may have just filled in the blank, or a blank or blanks. I think it was incredibly insightful of Alex. I think he and Peter work very well together. I'm very proud of them as my nephews. Hopefully this means something. <laughs> if he's on to something, that is fantastic. We all believe the HO stone is important. The circle and the dot could be the symbol for gold. Is it possible that it hints at or suggests that there's a religious relic associated with the treasure of Oak Island? Well, at this point, there's some strong suggestions that that is indeed the case. Well, what we did is we took the eyes and brutes approach to the information hunt, which is absolute imperative, and that's that's my thought as we head back to the island. Appreciate that. Thank Grazie. you. Grazie, Grazie. Grazie. We owe you a debt of gratitude.